Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model our 3D river here and also do some detailing. If I just go to south here, you see that I have two levels, the top of foundation and the level one. So just go to, I'll just go to that level, the TOF, and I'll just cut the section there by just going to view, then click on section. Okay, from here, I'll just, you know, cut the section from here, pick the first point, and the second point right there. Then I'll just select on that section and pick a different one like that and flip it down up to somewhere there. Then what I'm going to do is to just double click on that section. Okay, then change the scale here, 1 to 20, and the fine level of detail. Okay, click the box there, drag it up. So this is the view that I'll be detailing, okay? So let me just clean it up by just, you know, dragging the levels closer there and also these levels closer there. Make sure that you select the levels and hold your left mouse and drag up to somewhere there. Then I'll just hide the outer box there. First, let me expand it up to somewhere there and go to the, you know, the extents there and hide it. So this is the detail that I'll be, you know, uh, you know, detailing, I'll be detailing here and that is the 3D. Okay, so from here, let me place my ribbon. I'll just select on the base there, click on ribbon, click on OK. Then the first thing, make sure that you pick the bar type there. I want Y16. Then under the shape browser here, I want to use shape code 38. Okay, you can load, you know, any kind of shape code and the bar types from the from the library there according to, to you know, to your office standards or the code that you are using. But for me, I'm just going to use this one. So now we have expand to host. This is a new feature in Revit 2022. Then I've picked current work plan and I'm going to pick parallel, actually parallel to work plan, this option there. Okay, with those options, I can now hover my cursor there and place the bar there. Okay, so I'll just place the bar there, click on modify. Then I can select on the bar once again. If I just go to here, we have the fixed number. I don't want to use fixed number. I want maximum spacing so that I can have maximum spacing of 200. Then click outside there. If I go to the 3D view, see that I'm able to see the bars in one direction. Go back there. Okay, then what, I'm, what I can do, I can select on the bar if I want and, uh, you know, just go down there, uh, click on the overrides there, then I can change this one to 200, okay, and this one also to 200, as you can see, it adjusts there, click outside. Then I'll just select that bar, right click, create similar. Okay, then I'll just pick perpendicular to cover. You can see that I want to place it in the other direction and then click it there. Right click cancel, click cancel. I'll select on it as well. Okay, and adjust from here. I want to maintain the same 200. Okay, even here 200, click inside. All right. Now what I want to do for just for visibility sake just go there i have those two views i don't want to to see you know the bar up there that far it's just a a visual issue i can just go to that level select on it and i'll just you know reduce the extents maybe up to somewhere there then go back there as you can see now this is how i want to view my my river okay so i'll select on the river and just drag it inside and also using those shape handles, drag it inside. Okay, and then I want the ribbon to be on top there. So I'll select on it and use the constraints. I'll click on edit constraints. It's on this side. So I first have to pick a line here like the center there. Then select there and I'll give it negative 16 so that it can be on top there. Click outside as you can see. Then click on finish. Okay, so I have my bar there. So I'm done with that. So what I'm going to do is to just cut a section so I can place the bars even within the column there. 
go to view there you know section there i'll just click the first point uh, before i do that i want to pick this one section there click the first point second point then flip it down and drag it all the way and drag it outside like that then i'll just double click that head of course i'll be detailing this view for this tutorial okay but i want you to see that you have now the bus there on the base on both uh, at the bottom in both directions but i also want to to place the stair up within that column there so i'll select on it click on ribber there for that one i just want to use y8 and shape code 60 i'll pick on it then i have to change this one to parallel to work plane as you can see from there then pick that select that one okay then if i select you know that bar there i can change that is the maximum spacing but i want it to be 150 at the spacing of 1 to 50 then click outside there okay now i need also some bars within here so what i'm going to do once again select the column then edit ribber there okay for this one i want it to be y12 and i'll just start with you know shape code you know 20 but i can as well go for shape code 37 but i'll convert it later i'll edit it later i'll just start with that one right then for this one i don't want maximum of i want a fixed number of two okay just like that yeah, then i have to change to perpendicular to cover as you can see from here and i'll just want to place those bars there right then i'll just select on the bar and see that if i zoom in of those shape handles i can drag it inside there and you know drag it inside there okay so of the two bars what i need to do before i mirror i'll just go to that detail you see that that is the bar and what i'm going to do once again select on the bar okay then click on edit sketch there select it drag it down up to maybe somewhere here then pick the line there click that point and want it to be 500 click on enter then click on the green check mark there you see that i have that bar then i can select on that bar then mm on your keyboard to mirror and pick the center there as you can see you have the bar right there okay if i'm not happy with the, the way the bar is i can still drag it up to somewhere here but make sure that you delete this one because it will give it a different bar mark and make sure that you select that one mm on your keyboard and pick that one so that it's of the same bar mark okay if i want to drag i want you know to have some links down there i can even drag it you know up to somewhere there let's now detail this one i think we are happy with what you are what you are seeing i'm not going to detail this view i'll just close it i'll just detail this one and you can see the 3d view there so let me just close this okay so i'll go to this view let me even hide that section right click hide in view by elements as you can see from here okay so i'll go start by annotating there go to annotate click on tag by category then remove the leader there and i'll start with you know that is the bar mark number two you no know, pick it there click on modify and i just want to drag it up to somewhere there then click on you know co or copy on your there from there then just copy it you know to show the bar marks just like like that as you can see from here it's very very easy to do click on modify okay so i can also tag that one annotate tag by category now add the leader right there then point to that one modify then i want to switch this one to show the type and quantity by selecting that one as you can see i have i have it right there okay so i'm done with this one let me go to the to the links there the stair up for this one it's within a range so i have to hide some okay or i can show one or two but i just want to show the middle one i'll pick there show middle bar as you can see then i'll go here and pick this one with one line then pick that bar as you can see from here then uh, pick the first point there and i just want it to be you know maybe somewhere there and up to somewhere there okay i'm happy with that i have here as you can see 
Then I also have to annotate those two. Click on annotate, tag by category. All right. Then point to that bar. I'll just point there. Then I'm going to switch it with that one there, as you can see. And I want this one to point on the other one as well. We have add, remove host there. Click on add. Then you pick that other bar, as you can see. It points on the other bar as well. Okay, so I'm happy with the detailing here. If you want to, to add some text, you can. If you want to add some dimensions, let me just add one or two dimensions. Annotate there, aligned, maybe pick there, pick there, maybe just up to the top there. And add it there, click there, click there, up to here. You can add the blindings, you know, and showing the, the ground level. All that information can be added. Okay, so this is how you do the detailing. If I just go to shaded, you can see that my detail is done according to what I want to see. I can change to, you know, thick lines there if you want. Okay, so this is how you, you detail reinforcement in Revit. Okay, so if I go to the 3D view, let me just select all the riba here. Then click on filter, check none, structural riba. Then click on apply, okay. And what I want to do is to go to visibility, view visibility graphics, and that is a 3D view. Pick that one and that one. Click on apply. Click outside to see that I'm able to see the river in 3D. So if you'd like to see more of these lessons, both in architecture and structure, tips and tricks that you need to use for it to be efficient, please click on the subscribe button and also like this video so that you can be notified of the upcoming tutorials that I'll be providing.